Yannick, lovely to see you. Today's performance, what would you say? Eight out of ten? Uh, not good in numbers, but... Uh, <laughs> You know, with this kind of conditions, it's very tough to say. I will give me a, a good seven, to be honest. Seven. It's okay. um, it was a little bit windy today. Um, on one side, you had the sun in the face when you were serving, uh, so it was not easy. Uh, I was down a break in the first set. I recovered very, very well, and uh, in the second set, I was up a break. He broke me back, and it was a little bit of a roller coaster, but still very happy to be in the next round. Uh, you were obviously in late in Indian Wells. You, play, you played brilliantly over there, including that win over Taylor Fritz. How was the, the change from there to here? You had enough time? Yeah, we came here. It was Sunday, very, very late night. Uh, the planes were a little bit late, so I got to bed uh, around 3, 3 a.m. And, you know, uh, Monday I had a day off, you know, trying to recover. And I had three days to, to practice on these courts. They are quite... Um, quite fast uh, okay. this year I think also faster than last year and uh, but still you know it's for everyone and I'm happy to be happy to be here as always and I, I will try my best first chance to chat with you after that match you played with Carlitos over in, in Indian Wells you guys had a spectacular match at the US Open you guys played again in the semis here you had a set point in that first set how did you assess coming off of that match yeah, for sure. Um, I had my chances, especially in the first set. I had break point. Um, I had set point. I had it on my string a little bit because he made a drop shot. And um, <laughs> um, and I was a little bit dreaming about that shot because, you know, s sometimes you you feel like, OK, if the, if you make this point, it's the second set, yep. you you start a little bit more positive. No, and um, it, it was not the case. The second set, I still tried to be there I had a couple of uh, or one last 30 where I had my chances and everything so you know these are this is part of the game uh, happy to be happy to to compete against him he's a very uh, very very great player number one in the world again he, de he deserves to be there and I will I will looking forward for this kind of matches so let's see you, you, you said he's doing so well and he's, he's sort of one of the players you're, you're looking to. I, I know I can catch him with the hard work that I put in and so forth. So he's, he's turning into a bit of a motivation for you at the moment. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think we both, we are firstly very, very young and yeah. um, he won already so much. No, uh, me nothing, nothing big yet. So I, um, I try to... In, in every tournament where I go, I try to play my best tennis, trying to to be there where I want to be, you know, and uh, this is another week here, trying my best, and then we see, and uh, hopefully I can I can play many matches against him. I know that um, he makes me a better player because I feel like every time we, we step on court, we both play good tennis, and after after the match, I, I see what I can improve. Uh, that was the same. So we came here. We had three days of practice sessions. We tried. I tried my my best in the in the practice session, trying always to add something a little bit. And you know, this this makes me a better player. Do you do you have your chef from last week? He went home. Your father, your father went home. <laughs> yes, he went home. He was okay. it was very nice. Um, we had two weeks there, more than two weeks basically, mm -hmm. and uh, it was very nice to have him there. But you know, we, my mom and everything there is his home, so he said, you know what, I go home, and then we see us in Monte Carlo. <laughs> Um, we've seen all sorts of superstars come to this event. Jimmy Butler from the Miami Heat came to watch Coco the other day. And uh, you ran into one of the best Italian forwards of all time, Mr. Giancarlo Franco. How, was this planned? Was this at an event? How did this happen? Uh, it was funny because we went to, um, to this kind of bakery. They make also very, very good sandwiches, healthy sandwiches. And uh, <laughs> we went there to eat. Um, and then he came in, and um, firstly, I didn't recognize him because I was so focused about the food, basically. <laughs> and then my, my my physio said, "No, no, look, it's him, it's him." And I just turned, and I was like, "Oh wow, it's him!" So he came. Uh, we had yeah a little chat for a couple of minutes. Uh, we took a picture, which was very nice. And you know, this is. Miami is so big, but still so small. <laughs> what a what a cool story! He posted a beautiful caption when he posted the picture as well. Yeah. Um, Yannick, love to have you here. Keep winning. Keep playing well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure.